bike run. Three very challenging activities all on their own. If you can do all of them back to back in one sitting, well then you are definitely not a mere mortal. You are something called a triathlete. But endurance sports haven't always been inclusive, Chris. No, 11 years ago, three Latinx triathletes changed that narrative by creating the Tri-Latino Triathlon Club in the Bronx. With determination, ingenuity, and support from the community, what began as a dream for three athletes is now a global network of more than 300 members, including many that are in high school. That's right. And what are we doing with our lives? Uh, please. Not uh, enough. Lame alert. <laughs> Here to share their journey and show us what sports can teach us are Nimmer Stern, head coach for Tri Latino Juniors, Jerusa Ramos, program director, and Nayalea Cardenas, star triathlete, triathlete of Tri Latino Juniors. Thank you all for joining welcome, us. So welcome, welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. It's great, great to, to be you here. Guys. You know, when you wander the halls here, you find that our co workers do more than just edit or shoot video mm -hmm. or write scripts. Nimmer actually works here. As an editor. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Nice. So you brought this story to us, so thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for having us. This is really exciting to share this story. Yeah. yeah. I want to start with the star, yes. uh, with Nayalea. <laughs> what did you know about triathlons before you joined this club? Um, I did know a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a little kid, I would be in the, the couch and I would watch triathlon videos on YouTube. Really? Like, yeah, like the Olympic triathlon. Look at this. <laughs> and I was like, I was always like such in awe, like, like, wow, people can actually like just do all of this, like, and I felt like it was like, like a premonition of what I was going to do in the future. It's, it's, it's in her already. Mm -hmm. She knew it. It was in her head. Now, you qualified for the Nationals coming up in Milwaukee in the summer? Yes. What is, how does that make you feel? That's tremendous. That makes me feel, like, so excited. <laughs> I'm, like, I've, like, tr trained very hard, and I feel like it's all been worth it. And I'm willing to work even harder. Yeah. You can't be lazy with this kind of a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're either all in or you're or not. You're, you can't do it halfway, right? Yeah. It's, 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 it's a very intensive program for the juniors. Um, they they train for about 20 weeks, starting in the fall, starting in the spring, right. um, and then they have, and it usually ends with a race in June. And then Nilea, as well as a few other of the juniors, we call them the juniors program. The, her and a few other juniors also continued training throughout the summer, so they got to race again in September. Uh, so Nilea, as well as two other members from the team, have qualified for nationals, Fantastic. and they've got workouts five, six days a week, and then seven when the summer comes, comes because then they can actually do open water swims in the ocean. Right. Wow. And how do you feel about swimming in the ocean? Um, in the ocean. First? <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, that's crazy. I don't think like, I can right. do this. Right. Right. The, pool, the pool seems really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, like, but honestly, like, after you get, you get used to it, like, the rigorous routine, right. it's almost, like, liberating. Like, it's, it's one of the best feelings in the wow. world. Wow. Definitely. Nibbers, uh, so you brought this story to our attention, a triathlete yourself, mm -hmm. and the first thing I said was, there are triathletes in the Bronx who are Latino. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Puerto Rican from the Bronx, and no one talk, spoke to me about triathlons. When I was running, I was running to catch the train. Or I was biking away from my brother. Or running away from somebody. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's, it's, it's so incredible, and it's so unexpected, too. I mean, mm -hmm. people aren't thinking about triathlon, but to learn to swim is incredible, yeah. right? You can swim anywhere after that, open water, what have you. Riding a bike is like a ticket to anywhere. You right? can do that. Mm -hmm. And running, you just need a pair of shoes. Right. So by introducing this to, you know, kids, I started when I was her age back home, right? And I'm still doing it. <laughs> so to think that we're teaching them life skills, I mean, the best thing about riding a bike is it's like riding a bike. You never, right. you never forget, <laughs> right? It's like riding a bike. Right. So what's next for the uh, trial? Like, you know, uh, you know what, what do you guys... So we started Planning. actually in 2009 as an, for adults yeah. in the Bronx because we were looking to increase the participation of Latinos and people of color in endurance sports. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, I'm a member, and that's how I joined. I did not, grew up in the Bronx, did not know how to swim. Um, I rode a bike, but mm -hmm. not very far, like right. in my neighborhood. Around the corner. Right, right, right. Uh, and around the really, block. Didn't really run, okay. uh, except if I was late or trying to catch a train, right? <laughs> and, or being chased. So those, what Tri Latino does is to try to go ahead and 
create opportunities to improve people's health in the Bronx. So one of the things that we do is create, working with the Tridathena program, the Bronx happens to be ranked dead last mm -hmm. when it comes to the, as counties in New York State. There are 62 counties, we are number 62 in health. Wow. wow. The Bronx is the 15th congressional district. It is the poorest con congressional district in the country. So we know that there are a number of people who live in the Bronx who don't have access to, even though it seems pretty simple to get shoes and a bike mm -hmm. and go find a pool, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of financial barriers sure. to getting to a triathlon. Yeah. Yeah. So we are looking to increase opportunities. Um, people go ahead and fund the Tri-Latino program because it's solely maintained through funding mm -hmm. for the juniors program. Then we have adults who can join as members mm -hmm. and they can they can train with us. And mm -hmm. some right. only just train for a 5K. Cool. Some right. go the full Ironman distance. Mm -hmm. um, and what's next is going ahead and making sure, at least right now, more juniors can apply to the program because we are in our application period. Great. This is fantastic. Yes. It is Giving Tuesday. It is very apropos that we let folks know for Giving Tuesday, you might consider giving to yes. Tri Latino because Perfect I can tell you, I would, had I known this, I might have given up gymnastics to do this as a kid. <laughs> yeah. But it is, it is, it's a, it's not a cheap sport. Yeah. No. Finding a bike and you're competing against people who have like these really high tech bikes right. and high tech watches and sneakers that feel like you're running on a cloud. That costs money. Right. So try we've got to get the Bronx out of 62nd place. We've got to get the Bronx. Let's we go, got, let's we can't, go. We can't remain number 62. No, correct. that's not acceptable. Yes. Before so. we wrap, do you have a personal record that you're looking for? Yeah. Um, I'm looking to beat my previous time. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to run less than 27 minutes. Less than 27 minutes. Yeah. Real quick, wow. what are the, what's the distance you're running? How, how far are you swimming? What's the swimming distance? So it's about a 750 mm -hmm. meter swim, mm -hmm. followed by a 12 mile bike, mm -hmm. and then a 5K three mile run. Okay. Yeah. okay. We're going to be rooting that for you. That sounds like enough. <laughs> Make, you're gonna, we're going to be Keep rooting for you. You're making us proud. Thank you so much. Thank you so much yeah. for coming Thank in. You can thank you. Visit trilatino.org. Good luck. If you would like to donate to the poor organization, trilatino.org has a donate button right there. Fantastic. Thank there you, you for having us. Yeah. Run fast. Okay, <laughs>